Hey, what's up, guys? The man, the myth, the blue-haired legend, Ninja, or as PewDiePie calls him, Ninja. What is Ninja doing to his channel, and why is he getting less and less views? Why is he killing his YouTube channel? These are five things Ninja's doing right, and especially at this point, doing things wrong on YouTube, and why he's losing money because of it. But maybe it's a good thing. We're going to talk about this together. You guys will have to see what is going on at one and a half million subs together across a bunch of channels. Scott and I will show you guys how to get more views and subscribers fast. And of course, if you guys want to take your channel to the next level and blow up fast, check out the Zero to Legends ETL course in the description and pick it up before it goes full price soon. But Ninja, Scott, what is he doing wrong on his YouTube channel right now? Well, I'll tell you, Denver. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Kick it to you. Kick it to Scott. <laughs> So here's the deal. Ninja has been, I mean, he's been all over the place with his video games since the, the beginning of, uh, of his gameplay. He started with Halo and uh, I don't know what he did between Halo and Fortnite if he, there was something in between there. But really what he's known for on Twitch, on YouTube is Fortnite. And now he's switching over to Valorant. Is that how you say it? Valorant? Yeah, Valorant. Yep. Valorant. And I, you can tell I'm a video gamer, you guys. Here, here's the deal. When you make a dramatic shift like that with 23 million subscribers who all know you as a Fortnite mm -hmm. legend trying to switch and move all of your audience over to playing a diff completely different game is uh, is really going to hurt your channel for Scary. a little bit. It's going to hurt anybody. As we can tell with Ninja, I mean, 23 million subscribers and he's dropping down to like just a couple hundred thousand views. It does, I mean, it's it's still, a, it's still a huge number, but it's like for him, he was used to getting a million views every single video. It's like, what did he, what, what is he doing? Yeah. Yeah. 200,000 views. Like my mom could do that. <laughs> <laughs> my, my grandma does that in her sleep. <laughs> Anyways, the other thing Ninja is doing wrong, guys, do not try not to do this unless you're like Ninja and your brand is so big and you're just this recognizable. Do not just upload low edit repurpose content. People can sense that kind of laziness. You guys can't too. You know, we even put a lot of effort in these videos where we're just talking to you guys. There's a lot of planning. There's so much involved and a lot of edits, as you can see on the screen, like the zooms, the cuts, you guys have have to put that effort into your videos because people can tell ninja just has fans he's got a bunch of fans but the thing is like this low quality repurposed content from his streams that he could be getting like two three or four million views per video if he was just putting in that extra effort instead right now he and we, again we say only he's he's getting two hundred thousand views but again for him that's a tiny fraction of what he what he could be getting so he's losing a ton of money on that well repurposing content generally is never a good idea anyway because you think mm -hmm. about it you make a piece of content for one platform and you have all of the lingo all of the vernacular that goes along with that one platform so on youtube you know we get on here and we're like hey guys what's going on make sure you hit that subscribe button ring the bell click subscribe mm. you know do all the leave a comments all that stuff but you do something completely different on twitch you do something completely different on facebook on True. tiktok it's something completely different and people can feel that the video the content is not made for them and then on the other side of things people who are following ninja on twitch who've already seen that content they're not right. Come over they're, to they're not going to want to see and it watch again. it again. Correct. Yeah, exactly. So don't repurpose your content, especially you guys who are brand new creators. You're thinking like, hey, you know, I'm already doing these streaming things and doing all this or or I made this video for Facebook and, and I want to see if it's going to do well on YouTube as well. Make content specifically for that platform or at least change around your intros and your outros. So that way there is an element of that content that is specifically made for that. It's got to be new. It's got to be fresh. It's got to be unique for the platform. I like I like that point about people already seeing this content. Of course, they're not going to want to watch it again. I mean, very rarely are they going to watch that. But here's another thing that Ninja's doing really wrong. He's getting like his thumbnails and his titles are just so like bland and boring. There's no intrigue. There's no reason for me to click. If you guys want views on your videos, you have to give people a reason to click on this very video that you clicked on and you're listening to now. The title was designed to get you to click. The thumbnail was designed to get you to click. All these edits are designed for a reason to get you guys to click and and then stick around ninja all he's doing is just like here's 20 minutes of gameplay bam you know and, and some people I, I i don't know who the artist is i don't mean anything mean by this but what happened was a lot of the people in the fortnite community were giving ninja you know some some crap for like not having very good thumbnails and titles and stuff like that and i don't know he has a lot of money he could definitely hire a big team but that's just one thing i noticed like come on you got to make a good thumbnail and you got to make a good title for your videos now i, I do want to stop just there for a second because you think about the yeah, mental health of being a YouTuber, Denver. I mean, you and I both have been oh, through the sure. ups and the downs and the ups and the downs. And there are times when we just want to quit everything because YouTube, True. 
Like when you're a YouTube creator full time, it is a job. It's a career and you have to put the effort into it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you, you don't like doing the, the making the same content over and over and over again. It's it boring and monotonous. Right, and right, you right. start to wonder, you know, what what am I doing with my life? And so <laughs> I imagine that <laughs> I imagine that Ninja might be feeling similar oh yeah uh, because you look at he's, the content, he's got the bag he's, there, he's made the money it's like why why should he put this extra effort in right yeah. compared to people like you and i that this is our, our our living still like we are supporting our families currently dude he's got millions i mean does he need to do this stuff is it the smart thing to do yes but does he need to i guess not really right when yeah. you're making as much as ninja does it just it doesn't matter at that point and he's as an established brand the problem is that if he doesn't make the course correction eventually he's going to unwind everything that he's built and he's going to lose money he's going to he's going to end up losing True. sponsorships and all that stuff and fans yeah. he's been slipping into what the gaming community likes to call ir irrelevancy, right? And on YouTube, being relevant is a big thing, especially on social media. Like Ninja's is still big on his social media, but like Mixer, he lost a lot of viewers and a lot of people kind of teased him for that. Uh, you know, his YouTube views are dipping down. Does he care that much? I don't know, but here's some things that Ninja does right. Number one, he's still consistent and he still has a video out every single day. In the gaming community, and Scott and I talk about this all the time, in your niche niche, right? Hashtag niche niche, get in the comments. We know you guys love that one. But in your niche niche, I like to call it a niche, Ninja in, in gamers in general, you have to upload usually every single day or every other day. It's just something that's important. So he's consistent. But I think the biggest thing about Ninja here, even though he's a little bit lazy in his content, again, he's allowed to be because he doesn't even need to really have a YouTube channel right now, right? Through streaming alone, he's making millions, right, dude? So it's like, at this point, like YouTube, he can be lazy and still get 200,000 views on a video and still make really good money doing like, I don't think he's doing any of the work, right? He just probably hires a thumbnail designer, uh, you know, a, a channel manager to upload for him and yeah. that's it. So he he invests a little bit of money and he's still making money out of it. I mean, it's totally above where 99.9% where .9 of us are. But I mean, not a bad idea, right? I guess in the end. So another point that you just maybe uncovered there is if he's if he is indeed hiring a channel manager, somebody who has yeah. been hired to manage his channels and upload his content, if that person hasn't been through the ups and the downs of the YouTube swings and cycles, then that person isn't going to know how to title, how to edit correctly, how to create thumbnails that are visually appealing. That takes a uh that takes a seasoned eye a veteran of somebody who's been on youtube who understands the psychology of thumbnails and these are some of the things that we're trying to teach you guys here too on this channel we'll talk about thumbnails and we we talk about a lot it's about fine, thumbnails man. in our in the in the ztl course but um but thumbnails are extremely important if you don't hire the right people the right team then then your channel is going to fall flat too. True. Or like Scott, you know, myself, like I have a really strange like thumbnail style, you know, but it works. It catches the eye, yeah, right? Because a, lo a lot of, a lot of people forget like your thumbnails are not just supposed to look cool and look good. And I think that's what Ninja kind of falls into, right? It's artistic. There's like a 3D render, render of like a, you know, a character model or something like that. It looks kind of cool, right? And it looks pleasing to the eye. But again, it's not all about just looking good to the eye. It's about catching the eye and getting somebody to click, right? Yeah. So my thumbnail style, Scott has a totally different one. He's really good at it too. Uh, one thing that remains consistent against uh, across all thumbnails though, is like human emotion. Like Scott and I talk about this mm -hmm. all the time. Like mm -hmm. if you can capture some Somebody's emotion. We like to feel emotions. We just do, guys. You know what I mean? We just we just like to to feel something. So if we can capture that in a title or a thumbnail, then we win. We we win the click, as Scott and I like to tell you guys. Absolutely. Okay. So moving to the number three thing that he is doing right, he has built a character, a persona, a brand uh, that is that's going to last for years and years and years. Oh, I mean, he sure. is essentially an A list celebrity now. He's been on <laughs> yes. he's been on television shows. He was on the the Mask singer so he's doing things yeah i mean he's tapping into things that are like major network television and right. shows like that and remember he was on uh the new year's eve thing do you remember that and he was like flossing he was trying to it was like a, supposed to be a world record like the most people flossing at one point in time <laughs> And any Fortnite fans know this for you guys who are not familiar with Fortnite, he gets up there and he's flossing and, and, and he goes, uh, he goes, all right, let's do this. And he starts flossing up on stage and there's just like hundreds, thousands of people below him. And, and, and he's like, okay, everybody floss. And, and the camera pans to the crowd and he goes, I'm not seeing enough movement. And nobody <laughs> was moving. I mean, this is just ninja, man. Uh, through, and we say this on YouTube a lot through failure, 
we learn and we succeed. And that was, you know, you can consider that a failure, but those memes, and we've talked about meme culture a lot on YouTube, like those memes and those jokes and the ability to just accept the hate and stuff. This is something Ninja does right, man. There's a lot of people that hate Ninja. He, he is a very, what, what do we say, Scott? A divisive person. Yeah. 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 He's polarizing. He's polarizing. Polarizing. Yeah. So he gets some people who really love him, some people who really hate him, and he just brushes it off and he just uses it for good in the end. It's pretty incredible. Yeah. And you uh, can see, I mean, there's a, there's been a lot of controversial moments on uh, on YouTube with Ninja. And actually, you can read a lot of them in his Wikipedia. <laughs> That's yeah. what I've been doing yeah. all morning. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with my morning coffee. What's Ninja doing today? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to brush up on Ninja. Uh, <laughs> Just come to my channel for that, right? <laughs> all, the, all the people watching this video that are familiar with my channel. So I've got over a million subs, guys. In, in, in the intro, we kind of let you guys know. But like Ninja is a big part of my channel. And, and the only reason, just like Scott was saying, is because he is an A-list celebrity. Like people just want to know what he what he did. And I'll even get haters like, oh, you just make a channel that's built on other people. I mean, it's the same thing that news and media and magazines and social media, it's all yeah. built on the fact that we like to hear and see what these big brands and these big names are doing, right? And it is just one of those people, man, whether he's in Fortnite or whether he's in Valorant or whatever silly game he's playing. At one time he was playing World of Warcraft and lost thousands of viewers. He didn't care, man. He's made it. So here's the things he's doing right and wrong. But at the same time, he's Ninja. He's got millions. He can do whatever the heck he wants to do, right? <laughs> That's right. Would so be let's, nice. talk about, let's talk about just how much money Ninja has. Okay. What do okay. you think? Where's well, he at? So here's the, here's the, here, here's what we know, right? Because just recently, uh, Mixer shut down. Mixer bought out his entire contract, which, which was supposed to be over several years. I don't think anybody knows the specifics, but somewhere between 20 and $30 million that he got for less than a year of streaming. Less than a year. So right we're talking on. like, I think somebody did the math and broke it down. I threw it in one of my videos. It's like $92,000 a day just to sit down and play video games, not including donations, <laughs> not including sponsorships, not including YouTube ad revenue, anything like that, man, 92,000. So, I mean, net worth wise, we know it's got to be at least 20 million, right? Yeah, that's right. And then on top of that, you know, YouTube AdSense, he's got all his brand deals with like Jeez. Red Bull and the people. Adidas was a big with. one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's probably worth somewhere in the area of 30 to 40, eh, maybe 30 to $50 million. Yeah. You guys believe that? Ooh. So you guys who are coming on <laughs> here for gamer, the first dude. time, you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Think about that. Like this yeah. is the potential that you have on YouTube. Now I'm yep. not saying that everybody is going to get there, right? Not everybody's going to get there. But the point is, is that you have the potential to be a top performing, yeah. whatever it is that you do on YouTube. Anybody can get there. Yeah. And uh, if you're willing to put the work in and you're willing to do all of the things that we're telling you to do, you know, like with your thumbnails and creating a brand and, and doing all of the things that you need to, to make your, your presence known on YouTube, you can definitely make a full-time more than full-time income on this. That's true, man. Scott and I both, like, I remember being at like a thousand subscribers and just being like, I remember Scott was at like, you were at like 40,000 subs, I think at the time on your family vlog channel. Yep. And you told me, I think when I hit about 10,000 subscribers, you're like, oh, you're going to pass me up soon. And I'm thinking, yeah, right, dude. Yeah. They're at, like my mind would not accept that I'm going to pass up Scott at 40,000 subs. Next thing you know, he's, you know, in the hundreds of thousands. And I just, I sure enough, just, you know, zoom right up to <laughs> 1 million subs, started another channel. It's at like almost 200,000 subs. Guys, I'm telling you, if you haven't hit like number one, but if you haven't subscribed to this channel, definitely check it out. And we, we teach you guys so much. I just wanted, I just love teaching. Scott loves teaching. I was like, let's just do something. We'll make it, we'll make it cheap so people can afford it. And, and check out the zero to legend course. We teach you guys a ton of things, but this was Ninja today, guys. I hope you guys learned a ton from him. Things he's doing right. But I think most importantly, it's, it, 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 we like to see what other YouTubers are doing wrong so we can avoid those same mistakes. So anyways, good luck on your channel, guys. Make sure you hit like and subscribe if you didn't and leave us a comment down below, letting us know what you think of Ninja and anything we missed. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. See you guys.